Hi, this is Jack Strong Thumb speaking from Autodesk. So with this tip and trick, I'm going to show you how to move uh, data from Civil 3D over to InfraWorks to take your detailed design and use InfraWorks as a, a good real-time engine to show your detailed design off. So first of all, we have to do a little bit of preparation in Civil 3D. One of the first ones is to create a one surface uh, result, so the as-built surface design. So here I've got um, all my corridor surfaces merged as one surface called Final Roads. It's one way to easily handle that output. And then I'm creating here a final ground surface and pasting in both the existing ground and also the final road surface, as we see here. So of course you would use this for other purposes like drainage, uh, contouring, etc. But this is what we need as a base surface to take through to InfraWorks because it represents the as-built situation. So if you've got your design project, you may have been working in your own template files. To make this workflow possible, we're going to use the corridor link styles as a re way to represent the texture areas on the surface. So when we take the file across to Civil 3D, it will automatically create these coverage areas directly from your corridor model. And we need to identify those areas quite intelligently uh, by the names that we use in the styles. So as you can see on this illustration here, I've adjusted the styles that I would normally see on the top surface um, with a, an additional uh, name. If you look on the right hand side, you'll see that they also have a render material. So these are traditionally what you would look at in a 3D view within um, AutoCAD Civil 3D. If you're working on 2016 version of Civil 3D and uh, want to work with the UK template, I've actually already uh, created the presets for what we're going to look at next. And basically, it's looking at the um, link styles in the code set styles and the way we're going to handle textures uh, into InfraWorks. So this file path um, will exist in 2016 when you install Civil 3D 2016 and the UK and Ireland country kit. So when you bring your drawing through from Civil 3D, we'll be able to identify these um, link style names that we've adjusted and basically assign a texture. So as you can see here, we'll create a small expression called tag, and it's looking for that link name, and we can associate a texture surface to that tag. So let's look at this in practice. Let's bring our DWG through, and we see the final ground and those corridor coverage areas. We refresh the model, we see that we get a one surface but with no textures. As we hover the cursor over the road design, you can see we've got editable areas. And you can see that tag and that name that's come through from that coverage area. If we go to style rules, we can automate the process of stylizing these coverage areas. First of all, I remove the existing coverage area rules that are in the model. We go to the location uh, that's installed with 2016 and the country kit, and we can import these rules. And you see that's filled in that, those boxes. We commit the changes and run the rules, and those textures are updated on those areas. Very simple. So that's the workflow. Obviously, you can take this much further forward with your own designs, your own codes, and, um, and make use of Civil 3D and InfraWorks together to display your detailed designs in a real-time environment. Thanks very much.